the ultimate victory. I want to preach to you today just a little bit about when it all happens. What do you what do you think I mean by when it all happens? I guess when the rubber reaches the, reaches the pavement, when it really is all over. First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse fifty one. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. What does that mean? Verse 52, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we would and we shall be changed for this corruptible, this sin-natured body must put on incorruption, a glorified body with no sin nature. And this mortar, mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass a saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your sting? O oh, grave, where is your victory? How many have we seen put in the grave? How many have we seen on their deathbeds? And it just breaks our heart. One day that will all be gone. The sting of death is sin. The sting, think about that. The sting of death is sin. Without sin, we live on. We live on to be with Jesus. We'll be coming back to reign with him one day. A thousand year reign. Ten hundred years. Think about that. Ten centuries. So we which are alive and remain will be raptured out of here. How close is that approaching? How close are we there? It seems it could happen any moment. Evil, the evil of this world, evil people of this world are taken over. And it has to be that way. It has to, it has to come to pass for the man of sin to arise. But there's no mention that we'll be through, that we'll be going through every bit of that. The rapture will take place. Make sure you're ready for it. Make sure you're saved. It could happen right now while I'm on here preaching this message. I want you to know death has no sting for me. Yes, I may die today, but I know where my soul's going to be with Jesus. I'm going to heaven. And I have that to look forward to. My family has that to rest and comfort them. Don't you want your family to know where you're at? Don't you care? There's so many cares in this world. So much thing, so many things that are addictive and so many things in this world that have a sinful addiction. You need to get them out of your life. Let them go. They're not worth your soul spending forever in hell. Hell was made for the devil and his angels. The third part of the angels that fell, that were cast out. They were cast out. You know, he can't do anything to you if you're a Christian unless the Lord lets him. He has to come before the throne, a certain section in heaven. There's more than just one heaven. There's several heavens. And he can't even approach all the way up. He comes up and he asks. He has to ask permission to do things to us, to cause us. To, uh, to quit our giants. We'll face giants. You'll face them. I'll face them. I've faced several already. We'll face more. When you do, 
Can you say, death, where's your victory? Grave, uh, you know, where's your sting? Death, where's your, where, how does it hurt you? It can hurt you if you're saved. Oh, grave, where's thy victory? Death, where is your sting? It won't hurt you. Just for a bit. And then we go on to be with Jesus. No more anchors holding us to this world. No more sinful things that clog us and try to keep us in our communication with the Lord. Keep us from being with Him. One day we will be with Him. Forever will we be with the Lord. And the Word says to comfort one another with these words. So make sure that you're right today, that you're living like you should be. And this is Reverend Rick Brown signing off, hoping that you are saved. If you're not, get saved. Give your heart to Jesus. The Word says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. That's what it takes. It's a, it's a gift. You won't earn it. It's a freely given gift. Make that decision today. Signing off.